Well, I want viewers and subscribers, welcome to another great episode of the Bourbon Jamaican. Today we got a special lineup out of a couple different distilleries, and we got the new one right there from Heaven Hill. Uh, that grain the glass. It's a new hype that's going on. Brady's been turning us on to all this new content. Shout out to Brady the Great. Let's give him a round of applause one time. <laughs> uh, well, Heaven Hill came out with this new grain the glass. Uh, we did a review on the entire series. You'll have to check it out when we post it. Uh, but MSRP is 100 bucks. It's 121 proof. It is a little hard to find because this is the first year that they've done this new grain of glass series. Um, it's also a different mash bill than any other weeded bourbon that they've done before. So I thought it'd be interesting to compare it to their weeded bourbon and their wheat whiskey. They release Bernheim Barrel Proof twice a year, Arsene Barrel Proof three times a year. And with this one being once a year and the most expensive of the three, is it worth the hype? So what is the MSRP on each? So the the I mean, Larceny is 65, the Bernheim is 65, maybe 70, and the Grain of Glass is 100. All right, so this will either, uh, well, how do you say the ship sail, sink or sail? <laughs> yes, this is sink or sail for the Grain of Glass. We'll see if it's uh, worth worth the hunt, worth the cash, or if uh, we should just wait. All right. Everybody should wait and see if they can and get so it we've, more available. We've tried all of these in different blinds and different tastes and just we've never had, against each other just never against each other so this is the yep. first so i'm pretty excited to see yep. how each of these will do and the bernheim is the b batch from 23 and the larceny is the c batch from 23 just for reference i didn't buy any of the 24 batches for either of these because i don't drink them very much yeah. so but we are blinding this oh so it's do you know which glass is which i have no clue all right. I even I even juggled these up, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't I wouldn't be guessing. You know, psych yourself, man. Yeah. Right. Juggle the glasses and the. So bottles. we're just starting from from our left, your right. Yeah. All well, right. Yep. That is sweet. Yeah. Now the other thing too is the Bernheim is the lowest proof. It's one twenty point four or six. I forgot which one this batch is. Grain of glass is 121 and the Larceny, I think this batch is 126, 125, something like that. They always hang out between 123 and 130, so. All right. This one has a, this one has a wheat funk on it. It's hot. I, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and it's sweet. Uh, I haven't even tried it yet. I knew you were going to say it was hot. I knew, I think I know which one that is. So that's my other complaint why I don't get every Larceny and every Bernheim. I like weeded bourbons, but they 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 have good flavor, but they drink so hot yeah. that I can't drink them all the time. Yeah. I'm going to need to get some Tums or some Prowler's thing or something. Oh, yeah. This. <laughs> Man, that's sweet. That yeah. is, hear me out. That's like a cinnamon sugar butter. Like you put on your rolls at Texas Roadhouse. Uh, you know what now, I mean? Now I don't want to go to Texas Roadhouse <laughs> just to go get some freaking think about rolls. It, try it again though and think about it because I I get I get it on the back of my tongue. I feel like that butteriness on the sides of my tongue and then going down the back of it. So with that same exact note, I can tell me and you both know which <laughs> one glass one is. I think I think it's gonna surprise you. Uh, Alright, well. You drink it pretty fast, so I definitely know what glass one is. Oh, man, and it's funny because the second sip drinks even lower in proof. Yeah. That is scary good, man. <laughs> oh, all man. right. Well, let's get into glass number two. Oh, this is very different. Oak. And I get that dusty funk. So this one. So like we were talking about earlier, this one's probably not going to be as buttery considering yeah. when I get that dusty funk, it's a little more dry. I'm getting a little plum on here somewhere. I, I could definitely see that. It almost, it almost plum. smells like it's got like a sherry finish yeah. on it. Like it's got a dark, like a raisin, dark fruit kind of thing. I don't get the raisin. I get, the, get like an Asian plum. Like a little bit more of a plum with a yellow fruit. I don't get the berry. 
definitely not a berry. And that reminds me of those Kings Counties, how they're they're that plummy, plum raisin, dark fruit, like apricot prune kind of prune. Thank you. That's the one I was looking for. It's like a prune or or something dark like that. And it and with that, it's a little dry. Yeah. Every time I get that that prune that's kind of get, taste, I get, get a dryness on the back end, but that's got flavor, yeah. man. Dude, that's where you get that porter, that wine finish. Oh yeah, the the sherry, yeah. the sherry and uh, sherry and cognac tend to have those when they're uh, on the finishes. But I like it completely different than glass one. Yes, I agree. Um, the Bernheim is a wheat whiskey, so it's fifty one percent wheat, and then it's thirty something percent corn, and then malted barley. The Larceny, um, I think, if I remember correctly, Larceny is a it's a bourbon. So it's got over 51% corn, but I think it's got 20% wheat, I'm pretty sure. The Heaven Hill Grain and Glass is 35% wheat. Um, this one to me, I I, I, I don't know, That's that shocked me. I didn't expect any of these to have that profile. Like that is dark. I'm gonna cleanse my palate for this last one. I was, I was getting that weeded, that, that salivate, where it's just like, Hit me cheeks. All right. Glass three. A little weak on the nose. Yeah. Get some vanilla. I get a little bit of fruit, a little bit of berry. Get that cinnamon though. Yeah, you got that oak. A little bit of oak. It's a good one. That one's thick. Yes. So the first one was buttery. This one is syrupy. I don't know. It doesn't have that oiliness to what reminds me of like that butter on the That's first one. That's a long ass finish because it's still yes. going. So glass one and glass two are complex, but they're they're similar in profile. You mean one and three? One and three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two is completely out there. One and three are pretty similar. I think one is sweeter. One has a completely different texture than this one, but they both have a long finish. Yeah. One, it goes under my tongue. This one, it go it it just slowly goes. Like it's got that syrupiness. I'm gonna have another sip of that one, and then I want to go yeah. back to one That's for that direct dude. comparison. This one too gives me that finished vibe, like a sherry finish. It's a little bit dry on the roof of my mouth, but I get that. I'm getting like a chocolate now on the back end. I'm getting chocolate and like a dark fruit. Yeah. It almost tastes like you blended one and two to get three. Yeah. That's what I'm it's getting. Interesting. I think, I think I changed my thought from what I thought one was, I think we almost have them set up how we're tasting them. I th I think, uh, I disagree. <laughs> no, I, I mean, disagree. I don't wanna say my thought, I disagree. I, I think they're the same, the same way like, honestly, I think one is the Heaven Hill, but tasting glass two and three, I think those might be the Larsky and the man in glass one. Glass one is so good. Yeah. Going back to it, it is better than glass three in my opinion. Man, it like like easily. Like one like one easily beats three. Yeah, I can see the proof is there. I might go back to glass two just to. I'm gonna finish off glass two, but I uh, off my thoughts right now. Glass two is my least favorite. Glass one beats three. I don't think it's close. I think glass one easily beats three. Now, I guess the question is if the heaven if the grain of glass is one of these, is it worth the extra forty dollars? Yeah. 
to me, for my profile, I'm saying yes. If one is the grain of glass. Now, we'll figure out here in one minute, but. I feel like I need to switch now because I can't agree with you. <laughs> you can agree if you want. I'm just kidding, but I think we got the same the same lineup. Like two. these two, like I said, they drink the same, but like you said, you mix glass one and two to get three. Yes. Two is good, it's just dry, really dry. Yeah. Got really good flavor, but the longer it sits on my tongue, the more dry and I'm sitting here like smacking my lips. You trying to cheat over there? He's he, he's he's <laughs> losing train of thought over there. He's skipping ahead, trying to cheat. Man. Alright. Alright. My All right. last place is number two. Same here. With I'll tell you, we got them the same, pretty much the same, so. That's the larceny. Wow. I didn't expect that. I, I didn't I thought that was the Bernheim. I thought that was the Heaven Hill. <laughs> is your first glass one? Yes. That is mine too. So we go straight to glass one. That's the burn. The burn. Uh -huh. Wow. Which means the grain to glass is number two. It's glass three, second place. So with that being said, no. <laughs> no, don't go crazy for the grain to glass. If you can find it for $100, I'd pay $100 bucks for it because yeah. it's, it's different. It's a different profile. You could also just buy a Bernheim and a Larceny and if you mix them. mixed them, it probably would be pretty close. Yeah. We could have tried that. I didn't even think about it, but um, I like the grain of glass. The, that's funny. The Larceny, that's one of my favorite Larcenies and it's still got last. Larceny to me burns always. Yeah. That Bernheim is good though. I really like that Bernheim. I just like weeded in general. Like, you know, Eagle Rear Tenure is one of my favorites. That ain't even weeded. I know it's corn. But I like a lot of weeded stuff. Yeah. The Bernheim, it's funny because the two batches from last year were the first two. And when I got them, I thought, these are good, but I'm not going to keep buying them. And it just beat some pretty good bottles today. So yeah. uh, It wouldn't be the first time. I think it beat yeah. some good bottles the last time we put it The in new the batch box. comes out in a month or two. Maybe I'll go for that one. The first batch of this year is long gone. But... That being said, I mean, I if you guys haven't tried the Bernheim Barrel Proofs, this is batch B, B923, I'd say give it a try if yeah. you can still find it or buy one of the new batches. The Grain of Glass, if you can get it for SRP, I'd say it's worth a try, but don't pay the $200 secondary on the Grain yeah, of Glass. Don't go all willy nilly now. Yeah, but thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you guys buy every batch of Larceny and if you buy every batch of Bernheim, and if you prefer the Bernheim over the Larceny or the Larceny over the Bernheim, I'm very curious what you guys think. Um, my, all my friends were right down the middle. Half of us like the Larceny more than Bernheim's, half like the Bernheim's more than the Larceny's. I'm on the Bernheim side of it. I like Larceny. Today I am. I got two Larceny that I have owned. I think I got like the, what, the 22 and the 23. Something like that. You got, well, no, you got some older ones. Yeah. But, but, yeah. If you're new to the channel and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button, man. Show us some love, show us some support. If you're new and returning, thank you all for watching. Thanks for the support. And uh, our goal is, man, we're gonna try to hit that, that 1K by the end of the year. So we'll be doing a lot of lives. We got a big live coming up and unboxing. Uh, go check it out. Yeah, thank you guys.